Hello guys, it's Shark Hunter 21 bringing in some more Dragon Age Inquisition. We left off, we had just made the camp, um, but we got something to read right here real quick. An unsigned letter in the hinterlands. Uh, let's see. Let's do this so you guys can pause it, of course, and read if you like. There you go. Scroll down a bit more. And... Boom. Alright, so let's go take a gander what's down here in this... Uh, Ravine looking. Oh, wait, what's that? Ooh, Royal. Ooh. Sorry, I just woke up a little bit ago, still a little groggy. Uh, but I'm, oh, wait, people can level up. Hold on. Who can level up? I can't. Varric? Varric can. Alright, Varric, uh, let's see what you got here. Pin cushion. You know, I wonder what are. He doesn't have anything else. Okay. That's fine. Let's see. Death from above. Yeah. Let's uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's give him that height perk. Let's see, Cassandra. Let's see, do you have anything special? Shield while your movement is not slowed as much. You also protect nearby allies by giving them. Ooh, I like that. That'd be good. And Solus. Let's see. Peaceful aura or mind blast. Huh. Let's do this one, because that'll make it so people don't attack him so much. Oh wait, he's got a second one actually, whoops. The spell removes hostile magic status effects from allies. Huh. They can take it away too. You know, what is this? You have learned to cast barrier with a more stable magical pattern each time barrier you have cast as far as the ability cooldown time is reduced. Huh. You know, actually, let's give him an offensive ability. Let's see what we got. Ice Mine, you mark it around with a glyph that takes a short time to prime. Once it's ready, it will freeze the first target to step on it. Or Wall of Ice. Huh. That all sounds pretty good, actually. A standing still, you enter meditative state that restores your mana and enhance rate and reduces all cool ah fuck yeah oh I already have that don't I heh <laughs> never mind let's see let's let's do this let's give him a good offense yeah okay there we are now we're all set some iron what do we got here up she goes So, yeah, we got a dragon. A big one. And, uh, personally, I don't think we're quite ready to fight a dragon yet. God, he's... And there's what looks like dragonlings down there. Yeah. We're, we're just gonna have to wait and come back on that one. I... I've got a pretty good idea to know when challenge is too much. Way too much. And yeah, that is too much. Let's see. Oh, not that, not that. Damn it. Alright, so let's take a look at our map. Let's see, so we got one of the skulls over there, and what's that? Yeah, that's probably where the red lyrium vein is. But, can't really dungeon entrance. What the hell? We've got a dungeon nearby. Or is that just, oh, okay, no, that was probably what we helped the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the elf with. Um, for now, though, let's, um, what do we got over here? What's that? Let's take care of those Templars. 
That's what I want to do. Yes. Because we've already taken care of the, uh, the mages. Just got the Templars to take care of. Yeah. <sighs> we gotta make the assassins proud. So proud. Alright, so... Damn it. How many times am I gonna do that? Alright. Coming for you, Templars. Just as soon as I get these plants. Now I'm coming for you. Yeah, fuck, I'm not gonna get that. I can always gather those kind of supplies off camera just because obviously it's not very entertaining watching me continuously pick up plants. At least I definitely don't think so. Up and down. And hopefully with um all the encampments were taken out, maybe that'll stop the fighting going on around here. Templar encampment. We must be ready to fight not only the mages, but those who'd sympathize with them. Um, have not the mages blood magic... What the hell? Wait. Have not the mages blood magic to trick the minds of the unwary? Are not most people, as we know them, sheep, ready to be led by those who speak with authority? The people must be protected from the mages. It is our right and our duty. But those who supply them with lyrium, those who offer them comfort and food, those who shirk their duty to supply to supply us for our worthy fight, oh, crap. they are sympathizers who have lain with demons and can breed only abominations, and they must be slain as such. We will wage our war from our camp to the west road, and we will not stop until this world is clean. Yeah. We'll see about that. Let's see. Alright. Ugh. God. Yeah, and they're not... He's not doing a damn thing. I find that so funny. Okay. You do that. Uh, hit him. And Varric... I want you... Do that, and I'll take care of the one right in front. Just like that. Cool. Poor bastards didn't stand a chance. Stabby stabs. That's so cool when they get frozen in mid animation like that. really is. Cool. Let's care of another Templar mini base. No goods. Oh, wait. We do have goods. Cool. Let's see. Haters, Razor, Greatsword. It's probably two-handed, right? Uh, maybe, maybe not. It's a rare Greatsword. Fake Griffin Feather Charm. Nice. Let's check that real quick. Let's see if uh, Cassandra can wield that. Where are you, Cassandra? Where the hell are she? There she is. Oh, okay. Damn. Damn, that'd be great. Can't wait till we get to level 8, though, fortunately. Oh well. Bam! Broken bridge. The bridge was broken recently, most likely in fighting between apostate mages and renegade templars. Damn dirty people. Some more trouble ahead of us here. Alright, let's go ahead and set things in motion. Let's see, do that. Sandra, we got him, and Solus. Let's do this. Oh, wait. Area of effect attacks allow you to target groups of enemies. Use the left stick to move the target, and press A to initiate where you want it to hit. Okay. I want it to be right 
here. Yep. Alright, as for myself, I guess we'll take... Shit. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Alright. Stabby stabs! No, no, no. Damn it. Quit flipping. Stab it. No, oh, you're not falling back yet, sir. No, not that. Uh, yes. Pop that health potion. Okay, cool. You're doing great. Templar encampment. Let's take care of these bastards. The Templars have secured a position ahead. For long. Eric can take care of the small fry. Uh, ugh, that's that's kind of ugly. I want. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I want Cassandra to take care of him. And Solus, let's get you to attack. Well, no, not that, not that. There we go. I'm taking the one in the back. Damn it! Got him. Alright. Where's the... There he is. Hold up. By the time I get there, he's gonna be dead. Yep. <laughs> cool. You know, and one of the funny things, um, you know, I, I was just checking around on the web, some, and apparently... There was a small article going around titled, um, Get Out of the Hinterlands. And of course, I clicked on this because I, I thought, oh crap, is there some kind of glitch or something going on? No, it's, it's just developers, um, and, uh, other people playing the game trying to tell other people that, hey, there's actually more to this game besides the area we're in right now, the hinterlands. Um, I just thought it was pretty funny because it's like, wow, do people really not know that you can venture further? Because apparently a lot of people were saying how uh, um, there just wasn't so much to do and they couldn't get into the characters. <laughs> oh, shit. And when they were asked where they were at, you know, they just kept saying, oh, well, I'm in the hinterlands, of course. Not knowing, I guess, that you could actually go to other places, which baffles me. It's, a, it's just, did you even read um, the tips or whatnot earlier? Alright, hello. I'm here to fuck you up. Alright, so, so let's, let's get you to freeze him. Damn, I keep hitting the wrong one. Cassandra, woo, you were stuck on that wall hard, girl. And Varric hit him with an explosive shot. Okay, he's already queued too. Okay, let's do this! <laughs> Damn it! Refugees should be safer on the King's Road now. Cool. The 
sweetish fingers? What the hell? That sounds gross. Alright, we got some more power, of course. Um, and of course, this power is going to be really helpful when we go back to um, Haven. Because um, with power, that allows you to do certain actions and whatnot. Um, and. With, with um, getting the power, we can go ahead and set some other things in motion, get some early stuff done, so it'd be good. I don't know if us staying on that encampment means that Templars will stop showing up in these locations or not, but maybe. I'm really curious if it'll stop the fighting over there. So here we are, Elf, cleaning up another human mess. What would the Inquisition do without our stabilizing influence, Master Tethras? I assume they just start burning things. That does sound like most humans I know. Hey. If you gentlemen are quite finished... Now, now, don't get touchy. We're just here to lend you simple humans our help. Before you cause everything to explode. Again. <laughs> That's cute. Let's see, we got a letter. Um, letter from a dead body. Take it back, take it back, take it back. Dreams won't stop until you take it back to the Western Fortress. They will never stop. You will wake up screaming and find notes written by your own sleeping hand. Take it back, or I will draw allies to do it for me. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Alright, well, let's just keep moving. Return the stolen treasure to the Western Fortress. Wait. Where is this fortress? Way the hell over there? Woof. Yeah, I can tell you right now, we are not going to be able to get over there. At least not right now. Right, what do we got here? Oh, wait. Got a plant. Give me that plant. Letter from a dead dwarf. I don't care how many demons and apostates are in that area. The package was lost somewhere on the river north of those farms. Follow the river and find it or we'll find you. Oh. Lovely. But, I mean, what I really like about this is just how you can find side quests when it's so easily. Like, it takes little to no effort at all to find anything at all. Good lord, those are big wolves. Dire wolves. Oof. Get behind this bad boy. You. No normal wolf would fight with such determination. The breach may have driven them mad, or perhaps a demon took command of the pack. Perhaps. That's a scary thought, though. Redcliffe Farms. Cool. Oh, darn it. Damn your gates! Another of the elven artifacts. Okay. Oh well. Excellent. The wards are functioning again. Cool. What the hell is it doing here? I mean, kind of looks like this place was abandoned or something, and you're trying to tell me that whoever left seriously left that? Man, I'd be taking that thing with me. At worst, to be worth some money. Alright, let's see if I can get up to that. Jump! Jump! There you go. Alright, let's take a peek through. So, yeah, here we go. See, the other one said that uh, we can only find four, but this one's showing that we can find five, so it's obviously not going to always be four. And I don't know if it's going to be more than five at some point either, but it might be. Where is that last one at? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Cool. Elfruit. Alright, 
let's go down here and talk to uh, Horsemaster. I think that was one of the more important things of why we've come to this area anyway. Oh, shit, don't attack me. Don't attack me. Okay, no, I think we just startled him. Whew. Oh. This must be Master Dennett. Must be. so creepy. The way you can hear stuff coming from the shard. Don't know what to make of it. Speak to the master if you have business here. Alright. Let's look around. Well, hold on. We gotta talk to the guy. So you're the Inquisition, eh? Here you're trying to bring order back. It's high time someone did. Didn't expect it to be some free marcher's noble, though. Hey. Name's Dennett. I served Arl Eamon for 30 years as Horsemaster. I hear your Inquisition is looking for mounts. Uh, yep. It is. Can you help us? Not at the moment. I can't just send a hundred of the finest horses in Ferelden down the road like you send a letter. Every bandit between here and Haven would be on them like flies on crap. You'll have mounds once I know they won't end up as a cold winter's breakfast. Okay. Yeah, you got a problem with me or something, bud? What's up? If you have a problem with me personally, I'd like to know about it. What? No, I've got no bad blood with free marchers. Maker, I had kin flee to Kirkle when the last blight tore this land apart. My wife Elena manages the farms and Bronze in charge of my guards. They'll tell you what they need. Until then, you deserve something better than whatever knock-kneed plowneg they gave you. The chestnut over there is a purebred Ferelden forder. Take care of him, and he'll take care of you, Inquisition. All right, cool. Just like that, we've already got a horse. All right, so let's go check out the horse. This is another interesting inclusion to the Dragon Age series is, well, got a horse. Bam! Alright, so press on the left stick to gallop, press B to dismount, and summon the horse, press on the left bumper, and all that. Okay. We get some power just for getting on the horse. Alright, let's start. trying out one of my courses. Sure. What kind of racing are you talking about? I set up a course over there with stakes in the ground. It's too narrow to race directly, so I time it with a sand glass. You tried to ride the course before I call time. Okay, well, why the hell not? I'll try one of your courses. Wonderful. Get your horse and I'll set up the stakes. You make time, I'll throw in some of the dress money father gave me. Consider it a donation to the Inquisition. Alright. No, wait, we're... Hey. Horse. Damn you, horse. And unfortunately, um, like, you're the only one who can ride the horse at the time, so your teammates just kind of go poof. I, I like to think they more just go in your pocket, because as soon as you dismount off the horse, um, they reappear right by your side. So, yeah, there's that. But, I mean, this is pretty interesting in of itself, just because it's the first time we've ever had a mount. Ever in Dragon Age, it's just so different. And it's a good kind of different, it really is, because of course, there's different kinds of mounts you can ride too, as you'll see when we get back to Haven. Bam! I beat your stupid course! <laughs> I did it. I did it! Nicely done. Fancy another ring? Yeah, sure, why not? Set up the next course. Great. Go get mounted. I'll put up the stake straight away. Now, and she's only got... Whoops. Did we do that? She's only got three courses, so it's n no big deal. We're just going to complete these real quick. It's, it's such an easy little quest to complete. So, it's a case of why the hell not. Plus, it gives you a good chance to look at the countryside, so... I'm like, right in front of us, on your left, you can see a breach! Or a rift form. 
which we will be taking care of shortly after. Don't worry. Oh god. Evil green fog. Yeah, like, um, a couple of, of the different mounts I've gone, I think I've got one that's armored, which is, I think, kind of their own little guffaw back to oblivion of the armored horse DLC fiasco. Um, and then another one's called the Bog Unicorn, which, I know, it sounds weird, but it's real, and when you actually see what makes it a unicorn, holy crap. <laughs> it's a pretty interesting horse. Nicely done. Fancy another race? Yeah, last one. Set up the next course. Great. Go get mounted. I'll put up the stake straight away. Okay. All right, last one. I don't think this one's timed. I think it's more just... Oh, apparently it is. I remember when I did this before on the one I hadn't recorded that the timer just wasn't there, so... I don't know if it had just glitched out or what. Either way, I don't think it'll be a problem because I got through it just fine before without any timer, so yeah. I'm just gonna keep riding along. And I honestly don't know how often I'll be using a mount. Seeing as how we've got access to fast travel and you know when you're when you're on a mount you're more likely to miss stuff. And I really hate the idea of missing anything. So, I don't know. We'll see. And I also wonder if you can name your mount or not. Like, I know you can name your uh, weapons that you create. So, I just wonder if we can do that with the mounts. We'll see. When we get there, we will see indeed. Keep riding, horse! Go faster! If I had spurs, you'd be going a lot faster. Guarantee that. This quest knocked down, we can get to the more exciting stuff. Dum -de -dum. Dum -de -dum. And ba boom. Easy as that. as easy as that. And now we'll just talk to a couple other um, people around the farm to get uh, a couple other quick quests. And then we'll be on our way. Wait a sec. Cool. The master doesn't want me handing those refugees weapons until they've got any hope of defending themselves. If you put up a few watchtowers, we'd all have more warning before the next attack. Okay. You said you had a way to help the refugees. I do. There are too many hills in these parts, good places for raiders and bandits to gather. I've marked good spots on the map. You set up watchtowers there, I'll talk to the master and get your people weapons. Mm. All right, sounds easy enough. I'll just go ahead and start building them, yeah. Farewell. Okay. Let's see. So over here. I heard what my man said. If you want our horses, then we need our farmers back safe in their fields. Since the breach appeared, the wolves have gone mad. They come after our men like beasts with the water sickness. You deal with the wolves, and our farmers will be safe again. How are these wolves acting differently from normal? Normal wolves go after livestock, but come at them with a torch and a blade and they run. These beasts, though, it it's like darkspawn during the blight, or when the dead rose to attack us. They're possessed, or something like it. I've lost too many men to the beasts. I won't endanger more. All right. Farewell. Good day to you. That sounds plenty fair. 
about that. We've got something to find here. So, as a seeker, you're the highest ranked person in the Inquisition, but uh, you're not in charge. Liliana's rank equals my own, insofar as our rank means anything outside the Chantry. But you want to get shit done, right? Ooh. I declared the Inquisition, but I don't know that I'm best suited to command it. Bottles of Thetis. Uh, Canal 869 Blessed. An Orlesian liquor for the daring for or those who wish to seem so. Said to enhance sensation. And at the bottom, an erotically carved peach pit. Uh, the design is plain, but the bottler assures that the act of carving was scandalous. Perhaps you're interested in the position, since you seem so interested. Oh, no you don't. Leave me out of that mess. 